What caused the great 2022 crypto crash? The 30-year-old and the missing billions and why Kim was fined over a crypto pump and dump scheme. Money. Power. What's next? Welcome to this special crypto edition of Trading Up. Brought to you by the West Australian and Graffa, I'm Sarah Hewan. Even the crypto true believers have had their faith shaken to the core this year, as the two major cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin and Ethereum, lost more than 60% of their value since the beginning of the year. And making matters worse, Tether, which is supposed to be somewhat of a safety net because of its peg to the US dollar, well, it fell off its peg briefly in November. The trouble started in May when another so-called stablecoin, Terra Luna, fell off a cliff. About $60 billion was wiped off the digital currency market. Terra Luna was an algorithmic stablecoin which was supposed to hold its value. It crashed, taking the market with it. And now there's an arrest warrant for its co-founder. But Terra Luna was just the warm-up for what was about to happen. 30-year-old multi-billionaire Sam Bankman-Fried and founder of FTX said, Look, I screwed up, after his company collapsed, owing billions of dollars. FTX was the world's second biggest crypto exchange, and it went down, taking the savings of millions of millennials with it. Clearly, I... Um I made a lot of mistakes or, or things I would give anything to be able to do over again. But it wasn't only millennials that lost their shirts. Some big institutional investors also took a hit. The likes of Singapore's sovereign wealth fund Tamasek lost hundreds of millions. Canadian pension funds also lost millions. And investment funds like Sequoia Capital suffered big losses. More than $2 trillion has been wiped off the crypto market in 2022 in what's now being called crypto's Lehman moment. OK, so crypto may be heading for an extended winter. But what about blockchain? Blockchain technology is the underlying distributed ledger technology that underpins cryptocurrencies. One thing became clear last month, Australia's stock exchange is no longer going to use blockchain technology for clearing trades. The ASX was planning to replace its 25-year-old chess clearing software with a new blockchain-based settlement system. But after sinking $250 million into the project, it scrapped it completely. <laughs> and keeping up with the SEC. Even the celebrities got their fingers burnt by crypto in 2022. Kim Kardashian copped a $1 million fine from America's financial regulator for spruiking a cryptocurrency to her 330 million followers. Sometimes celebrities endorse investment opportunities like crypto tokens or special purpose acquisition companies. Celebrity endorsements, though, don't mean that an investment product is right for you or even, frankly, that it's legitimate. So what's next for crypto? Can the market hodl on? Or will the big freeze go from a crypto winter to an ice age extinction event? You can find more business news content on thewest.com.au. Or to see all the data and insights behind this video, check out graffa.com. Thanks for joining me on this special episode of Trading Up. I'm Sarah Hewan. See you next time.